welcome to our March 22nd children's moment. We're so glad you're worshiping with us this morning. Today in our Bible lesson, Pastor Jeff is going to be preaching about a person in the Bible named Joseph. But it's not Joseph who had the fancy colorful coat, and it's not Joseph who was married to Mary, Jesus' mother. This is Joseph of Arimathea. That's tricky to say, so try that with me. Joseph of Arimathea. Since his name is so tricky, let's just call him Joe. So we're going to find out how Joe played an important part in the story leading up to Easter when Jesus was crucified, buried, and was resurrected. And Joe had to work out a lot of things through his fears and his faith. So let's think a little bit about this idea of choosing fear or faith. There's a lot of things we do every day where we have to make these choices. Like, have you ever thought about this? Turning on and off your light switch, that takes some faith. Have you ever felt afraid when you turned off your light switch? Probably not. But think about it. Every time you turn that light switch off, you have to have faith that it will turn back on. You can try that later when you have a few minutes to play with the light switch. Also, things like taking the training wheels off your bike. Is that bike going to hold you up? Jumping into the pool when someone says, jump in, I'll catch you. Or taking your first ride on an airplane. Is the plane going to stay in the sky? We make lots of decisions where we have to decide, are we going to have fear or faith? So the good news is that God is in control no matter what. It's easy to give into our fears or to worry during uncertain times, but we know that we can trust God's plan in all things. So let's try this together. Every time I say something to you, I'm going to point to you and I want you to say, God is in charge. It makes it really fun if you get louder every time too. So I'm going to say, when we don't know what's coming next, God is in charge. When things are not so great, God is in charge. And when things are good, God is in charge. The Bible talks a lot about fear, and I want to leave you with these two scriptures. God tells us, do not fear. I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. The Bible also says that for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So friends, today as you go about your day and you go about your week, let's think about choosing faith over fear. Will you pray with me? Say this after me. Loving God, thank you for being in charge in all things. Help me to put my trust and hope in you. Help me not to fear, but to love. Thank you for your love and care for us. We love you too. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.